हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर वसीम आय खान असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर श्री शिवाजी लॉ कॉलेज परभनी महाराष्ट्र इंडिया सो टुडेज पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन विल बी द सेकंड स्कूल ऑफ क्रिमिनोलॉजी पिनोलॉजी दैट इज अ क्लासिकल स्कूल ऑफ क्रिमिनोलॉजी सो वी विल डिस्कस द इंटायर सिनेरियो ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर स्कूल सो लेट स्टार्ट द टॉपिक classical school of criminology in the previous lecture we have discussed the class pre classical school of criminology and the supporters of pre classical school of criminology has mentioned the reason behind the commission of offense and they have mentioned that the man is simple by nature and his uh, action was controlled by some super power that is a demon or devil spirit when the demon or devil spirit enters into the body of person person commits an offense otherwise man is simple by nature so they have suggested what is the cause what was the cause behind the commission of offense the demon or devil spirit and they suggested the torture and pain is one of the remedy due to which the demon or devil spirit will be will will be far away from the body of person and person will not commit an offense in this particular lecture we will discuss the second school that is the classical school of criminology during the middle of 18th century bicaria the pioneer of modern criminology criminology expounded the classical school of criminology by rejecting the concept of evil spirit so caesar bicaria is the founder of classical school and he is supposed to be known as a pioneer of modern criminology in the middle 18th century he has mentioned and he has uh, expounded the classical school of criminology by rejecting the concept of evil spirit caesar bicaria has completely rejected the point of view of pre classical school that is the demon or devil spirit and he says that behind the crime there is no demon or there is no devil spirit there is no role of evil spirit or devil spirit or demon spirit behind the commission of offense but he has suggested that he attributed crime to the free will of the individual the bicaria has mentioned free will as a cause of crime the person commits a crime due to his free will by choice he commits an offense free will of an individual is one of the reason behind the commission of offense he was much influenced by the utilitarian theory of pain and pleasure the theory of pain and pleasure utilitarian utilitarian theory of bentham the caesar bicaria was was much influenced by that particular theory and according to this theory the everybody wants a pleasure nobody wants a pain each and every person will do that particular act by which he is getting pleasure no person will do any act by which he will get a pain suppose i am delivering a lecture because i am getting a pleasure from that you are listening my lecture because you are getting pleasure from listening that particular lecture so each and every person is doing any act only if he is getting pleasure from that then so the criminal is committing an offense and according to caesar bicaria he is committing an offense because he is getting pleasure from the commission of offense by choice he is committing an offense so each and every person wants a pleasure nobody wants a pain if the criminal is committing an offense it means he is getting pleasure from that and that's why he is committing an offense so he suggested that the free will of the person is one of the reason behind the commission of offense so people can understand the difference between right and wrong and can choose to commit crime or to follow the law so being a prudent man each and every person can differentiate between right and wrong if the person cannot differentiate between right and wrong it means he is not a prudent man he is suffering from a certain psychological disorder he is suffering from insanity and that is the reason he can't differentiate between right and wrong so being a prudent man person can easily differentiate between right and wrong and he is having a choice either to commit an offense or to follow the law so if i am deciding i am choosing to follow the law it means i am getting pleasure from that and in the criminal committing an offense because before commission of offense 
the criminal is also having a choice two two options are there one is to follow the law and another one is to commit an offense and if the criminal is committing an offense if the criminal chose to commit an offense it means he is getting a pleasure from that and that's why voluntarily he chose to commit an offense free will of the person is one of the reason behind the commission of offense according to caesar beccaria he is getting pleasure from the commission of offense i am getting pleasure from following the law that's why i chose that particular fact so that is the reason according to caesar beccaria because uh, behind the commission of offense punishment should fit the crime without regarding to regard to individual difference and caesar beccaria has suggested that punishment should fit the crime without without regard to individual difference while punishing the offender the court or the government or that particular person who is punishing the offender keep only one thing in his mind that punishment should fit the crime whatever it may be the seriousness of crime according to that seriousness the punishment should be there without regard to individual difference the offender may be male may be female may be child may be major but punishment will, uh, will be the same that is the point of view of supporters of pre classical sorry classical school punishment should be rewarded keeping in view the pleasure derived by the criminal from the crime and pain caused to the victim from it so whenever the accused is punished accused is awarded a punishment while awarding a punishment one thing must be kept in a mind that what kind of pleasure the criminal got and the pain caused to the victim these two concept should be kept in a mind while punishing the offender and accordingly the punishment uh, would be awarded so pain caused to the victim pleasure derived by the criminal and the punishment should be far as the pleasure derived by the criminal if the punishment is serious so the pain will be much higher than pleasure of criminal and that is why the serious punishment has been suggested by the supporter of classical school by bearing the punishment the criminal becomes a free man as by paying the penalty he purchases his freedom so it was the belief of the criminal that if he if he suffers the punishment it means he pays a penalty and by paying the penalty he purchases freedom and that is why the punishment should be very serious one with, without regard to individual difference the major drawback of this school was that it was based upon the free will and relied solely on the act that is the crime without devoting any attention to the state of mind of the criminal so the this is the one of the drawback of the classical school that this classical school based upon the free will and relied solely on the act that is a crime and no time and no attention has been given to the mind of the criminal state of mind of the criminal under what state of mind the crime has been committed by the criminal but this theory targeted to the crime only free will of the individual while committing an offense that was the attention but no attention was given to the state of mind of the criminal that is one of the drawback another drawback of this particular school is another shortcoming of this school was that they prescribed equal punishment for same offense and created no distinction between first offender and habitual criminal irrespective of the gravity of the offense so this theory fails to uh distinguished between first offender and habitual offender and they suggested a equal punishment for the two person first offender and habitual offender without giving any kind of attention to the gravity of offense so whatever the seriousness of the offense is there if first offender has committed an offense and the nature of that offense is less serious and habitual offender commit the same offense and the nature of offense is serious but this theory suggests this school suggests equal punishment for both the person this is one of the shortcomings of this particular uh, uh, classical school of criminology so in next lecture we will discuss the new classical school of criminology new school we will discuss uh, at that particular time we conclude this lecture i hope you understand this lecture 
If you understand, please subscribe my channel, hit the notification button, hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Thank you. Thank you very much.